Have you designated a beneficiary for pillar free air life insurance policies? Is this relevant under Swiss inheritance law? Why may this be interesting for a cohabitation partner? This and more you will learn in this video. My name is Tamara Freiner. I am an independent attorney at law in the Canton of Zurich. If you like this video, please forward it to someone else. Life insurance solutions can be used to try to circumvent the right to a compulsory portion. Violations of the statutory share are subject to reduction. However, no plaintiff, no judge. From January 1st, 2023 on, all beneficiaries, irrespective of the form of pension plans, will have a direct claim of their own against the insurance institution or bank foundation for the benefit allocated to them. The pension benefit will be paid out to them directly. The content of the community of hers is not required. These benefits do not be included in the estate on the death of the pension fund member. Consequently, the benefits will not be divided. According to the derived inheritance law, all benefits from tight private pension plans, Pellocry A, whether bank or insurance products, will be treated as dispositions inter vivos. Such benefits to a beneficiary third party are subject to addition and reduction. In other words, such benefits are to be considered in the calculation of the compulsory portion, the surrender value or capital amount. In the case of pension insurance, the surrender value is decisive Whereas in the case of the pension agreement, the full savings balance is crucial. If no compulsory portion is violated, no reduction takes place. In the case of a reduction, benefits from the restricted personal pension plan are qualified as gifts and vivos. Heirs entitled to a compulsory portion who do not receive their statutory share can file an action against the beneficiary of Pillar Free A and request a reduction until his or her compulsory portion is established. The beneficiary third party benefits from the difference between the insurance amount and the surrender value. From a tax perspective, it should be noted that such benefits from Pillar 3 a are subject to income tax, not inheritance tax. This can become important for estate planning if, for example, a cohabitation partner is favored. Depending on the canton, income tax may be lower than inheritance tax for non-relatives. Consequently, a favorable treatment of non-relatives via Pillow Free A may have to be considered as opposed to an appointment as one's hair. This presupposes that the pension assets of Pillow Free A have not yet been paid out. Make a note of who you pass on your asset to via the second and third pillars. Have you studied the relevant regulations and submitted the beneficiary declarations in writing. Your provider usually offers a form for this purpose. I look forward to supporting you fulfilling your personal last wishes to have a peaceful distribution of your assets. Contact me for a consultation.